welcome to my video where I will be discussing about the surface excellence along with two people from two different occupations um, on how they experience surfacing and what surface excellence means to them. I am Kario Reju Rainer with a BP number 191086680002. I am a student in communication science at Andalas University and this is my midterm exam for surface excellence. Surface excellence refers to the ability of surface providers to consistently meet and occasionally even exceed customers' expectations. At the same time, 72% of customers would share their good experience with six or more people. Now, what's the importance of surface excellence? Well, uh, being a more customer Focus and providing service excellence is becoming a significant advantage and performance differentiator for both private and public organizations. It helps a business to win clients in an extremely competitive environment nowadays and it facilitates cost saving. How to achieve service excellence? Well, there are seven critical steps. So step one, instill your value system. This means, for example, there's a saying, customer service shouldn't be a department. It should be the entire company. For frontline staff to deliver on service excellence, it first has to be made a priority and a part of the organization's value system. It has to flow from top. Simply training or instruction, instructing your staff to be hospitable with the customer will not work. It has to be imbibed within the culture of the organization. Number two, listen to your customers. What is cost? What is your customer saying about the surface delivery of your brand? At Disney World, at least once in his or her career, each manager spends a day touring the park in a Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, or other character costume. All Disney World managers spend a week each year on the front line, taking tickets, selling popcorn, are loading and unloading rights. Number three, hire the right person. Technical expertise is important, but when you are hiring an individual for a job role that involves a high degree of interaction with the customer, whether internal or external, it is critical to focus on the softer elements like communication grooming and people skill. Setting up attribute based interviews which focus on these soft skills are helpful. Hiring candidates um, with a hospitality background is always plus. Number four, define and document standards. The customer will have multiple opportunities to form an impression about your organization. Listing down of those opportunities as a part of the customer service cycle and what needs to be done during those interactions or opportunities is essential if you want your frontline staff to deliver excellence on them. In some cases, hard coding the experience works, whereas in some cases, setting up a broad framework and guideline within which your employees can operate work later or better. The decision should be solely based on what would work better for the end customer. 5. Equip your employees to deliver on excellence. Documenting the standards isn't enough. You need to equip your 
employees with the right knowledge and skills required to deliver service excellence on the defined standards. Active training workshops and interventions are very helpful in facilita facilitating the knowledge and skill transfer to your employees. Additionally, setting up processes and guidelines which allow for quick decision making um, and remove bureaucracy with a great benefit. Number six, empower. The Ritz Garden um, allows better yet encourages employees to spend up to $2,000 to solve gas issues. More than the money is about giving control to the employees to use their time, effort, and when needed, the company's money to enhance the experience of any guests. Last but not least, number seven, reinforce. Whenever the opportunity rises, reinforce the importance of service excellence within the organization. Many companies brand their program on service excellence, making it aspirational. The use of visual cues as a constant reminder for employees. There you have it with seven critical steps to achieve service excellence. For more information, I have inf interviewed two different people with two different occupations. Both of them will tell us more about their experience in service excellence and how they deal when they face ops and downs. This is Gina from the International Office at Andalas University. Hi, my name is Gina. I've been volunteering in the International Office since March 2019. I have just earned my Bachelor of Science degree in Physics in August 2021. Back then, I used to be a student body for the international students. I helped them to the Immigration Office or took them for a short tour around Padang City. I used to handle the designs for the International Office Instagram and I made the captions too. And I used to reply the emails to the candidates of UNA International students. Sometimes I become a committee for certain events such as NUNI, Build, Cultural Day, and etc. There are times when I translated some important documents into English or Bahasa Indonesia. I helped them to the immigration office or took them for a short tour around Padang City or showed them some buildings and its functions around Unan. Service excellence means being able to provide services above the desired expectations to produce optimal services. In terms of working in the international office, we as student body try our best to provide the best services to our international students so that they will be there so that they will experience the best time during their study in UNAN. In the international office, I have faced a lot of problems here such as interpersonal conflicts with coworkers management issue in terms of balancing my academic life and work life or even communication problems. That's it. In terms of interpersonal conflicts or communication problems, we try to solve our problems by communicating freely with our coworkers. We try to communicate our needs or we apologize when appropriate. We work on our own communication skills. In international office, a service is a way to help international students. We try to solve some of the specific international students' problems. What's the best service anyone could give to anyone? I think by being an international office student body, uh, we try our best to help the international students.
and in but in terms of a more general meaning i think by volunteering to help your friends in it is the best service of all as you could see that's part of a service excellence in an office here's the service excellence in the coffee shop where i have interviewed hadi who's the owner of kalisani coffee shop about service excellence Hi, my name is Hadi. Uh, just called uh, my name is Hadi Chandra. Uh, just call me Hadi. I'm 26 years old and I'm the owner of Kalisani Coffee Shop. And also uh, I'm one of the baristas here. Yeah. Uh, I have my customer based on needs, uh, explain the product or uh, service uh, as well as possible. Um, yeah, uh, focusing on doing the best and responding to the customer's need. Uh, in case there are some problem with your product or service, uh, you have to take responsibility and uh, explain it uh, handsly. Uh, facing complaints based on dissatisfaction of what we offer. Uh, apologize, trying to solve the problem and uh, grind trust uh, on your surface. Offering the value of what you own and regarding to my shop and not uh, do not only uh, serve the beverage we offer but I also explain about the coffee from farm uh, to cup and what the value of this uh, chain is yeah the best uh, service I, 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 I would give to anyone is uh, to stay in trust and owl and always surface with smile. Okay. As you can see, surface excellence is very important anywhere you are and anywhere you work. It helps understanding one another and satisfies as others as well with a smile. So we can conclude that surface excellence is very important in our daily life as well. I am Rain. And this was Mind Mentor, except for service. Thank you.